there is a definite lack of critical thinking going on in this country. They wave the flag as being great Americans and defenders of the Second Amendment. They don't have a clue what American law is. Bruce Jennings comes out with his new Brico line of guns, and he finds that there's a jamming problem. If you pull the slide back while the safety is on and the gun is uncocked, you will experience a feed jam. He changed the design of the gun, so he hid the jamming problem at the expense of the safety. Today, a bankruptcy court is going to be auctioning off a gun maker specializing in handguns. Why is this something worth watching? Well, there's a teenager you know, who has waged an internet campaign to buy the company and melt the guns down to destroy it. Why? Because of what happened to him. Of the 24 million that the jury said you should be awarded, how much has Brico paid you? Not one cent. Even in a hospital bed, paralyzed from the neck down, 17-year-old Brandon Maxfield says he won't be defeated. I've got a job, dude. I'm doing it. Brandon Maxfield is a 17-year-old California teenager who has been paralyzed from the neck down for the last 10 years. He, was he and his family want to buy the company to shut it down. I'm scared that somebody else might turn out to be like Brandon if we don't get these guns off of the street. So Brandon has a new fight. In April, he started an internet campaign called Brandon's Arms, asking for donations so he can buy the gun company. In five months, raising close to $175,000. I think that, you know, it would be better for us not to have these kind of Saturday night specials all over the, the country. It's not over for Brandon. The sale of the assets of Brico is simply one part in the ongoing bankruptcy proceedings. Brandon Maxfield of Willits has scored another victory as a youngster. Maxfield was accidentally shot and paralyzed.